Spring is in the air and today I wanted to do a smoky eye tutorial for a spring look. To start out with I'm going to use the BB cream in the color Bisque and just sweep it all over my face getting full coverage and just starting with an even foundation. I'm using a flat top kabuki brush to do this. Now I'm going to go in with a rounded foundation brush using the BB cream in a darker color, much darker than my skin tone, it's the color Caramel. Just going to really etch out some lines for contouring. I like to do harsh lines to begin with and then really just blend them out. Sometimes when you draw in the harsh line it really gives you a starting path for what you're doing and where you're going with this makeup. Once you've blended both cheeks then I move the color whatever's left over on my brush and I sweep it on the top of my hairline. Really blend it into that hairline because you don't want any like um, drastic contrast lines and then just kind of bring it down your face. I also do underneath my jaw, focusing in at my chin and just really chiseling that full look out. I also do the inner corner of my brow and down my nose. You can skip this step if you want, but it just gives a nice edging. After that, I'm gonna go in with the lightest color BB cream in the color cream and just rub this in with my ring finger all completely underneath my eye and then in downward strokes across my cheekbone all the way to my hairline going in with the next eye just really getting a nice highlight underneath your eyes where you can tend to look the most tired, the most drowsy, all of those things. I also bring this highlighter down the bridge of my nose on the top of my forehead and then I really just go in and blend it. Blend, blend, blend. I use a blending bud for this because it really presses that color into the fine lines that we all have and into the pores and really just helps that color last all day. Next. I'm going to bring the highlighter on the top of my jaw and then also on my chin and on my cupid's bow to just really bring that highlight to these areas. <clears throat> Again, blending in with the blending bud, just really smoothing this out. The highlighter on your face will always help wherever you've contoured to look really drastic. Now I'm going in sweeping over our touched pressed powder in the color velour, which is one of our lighter colors. And I sweep this all over both the contour and the highlight to really just set that cream. Now I'm going in with our dry powder concealer in the color Fresh. I'm using a big fluffy brush to just pat that over the cream concealer that I've done. Make sure to do underneath your eyes and over your eyes. Now with a fluffy brush I'm going in with a peachy orange color called Giddy and really just going back and forth, back and forth in that crease and brow bone. Going in now with a darker clay clay like color called Provoked. I'm using a flat brush, flat kind of fluffy brush, to really press that into my crease making sure that you get a nice pigmented dark color and then I'm gonna sweep that into my inner eye. So again putting most of the pigment on the outer crease and then sweeping it forward. You don't have to be too precise with this because we are gonna cover up this part with with other eyeshadow at the end. So you're just making sure that you really get it the coverage that you want and we'll go in and blend out some of the harshness later. Once you've completed that go back in with the fluffy brush and blend those two colors out at the brow bone and up. So not going any lower than the crease. <clears throat> this will blend the giddy which is the peach color and the provoked. Now I'm going in with our brand new cream eyeshadow. This is the color Elegant, which is a nice champagne. This is very shimmery and very, very, very pigmented. So start at the inner crease and work your way out. With this specific look, we we're gonna wanna make sure that the inner crease has the most as the brightest color. So start there and then, as I said, push it back towards the crease. You only want this color on your actual eyelid. You don't want it at the crease or above. And because it's very pigmented, you want to work quickly so it dries together. Now I'm going back in with a flat, rounded brush to really edge in that provoked clay color again. Just really defining the crease. Now I'm going in with the dark matte purple called Glamorous with a round top brush. And I'm, again, edging out that crease and just working back and forth in windshield wiper motions over the color provoked that I've just done, blending both the clay and the purple into a nice kind of rustic rosy color. 
back with the fluffy brush and you got it blending 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 on that brow bone it's very very important when using matte colors to blend because blending is really what will help um, eliminate any harsh lines now I'm going in with an angled brush and the color glamorous which is the dark purple color I've mixed that with our glorious primer to make it makes the consistency of a gel liner the nice thing about using something like a purple or a brown is that it's not too harsh, it's not a harsh line, but it still defines your eyes while giving you a little pop of color, which is perfect for spring. Now I'm going to take that same brush, that same color, and I'm going to sweep it underneath on the bottom of my eyelid. A nice little trick is to look down so that if you get any fallout of color, it won't fall on your cheeks or on your face, but it will fall down straight. This is really important part. You don't have to have a precise line either if you're not good with under eye liner. Okay, now I'm going in with the Kabuki brush from NARS called Ida. I'm going in with our new beachfront bronzer in the color Malibu, which is very, very nice and very, very pigmented and blends out very nicely because of its consistency. Again, making harsh lines so I can see where I'm going. I don't dip my brush ever again. I do one I dip it for each cheek and then use the remainder color for my forehead and then again underneath my jaw and defining that chin area. It's very, very important to blend. You do not want any harsh lines on your face. But as you can see, it's starting to really chisel and give me some dimension. Now I'm going in with blush in the color Stunning and just rubbing that on the apple of my cheeks. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and get prepped for some mascara. And any of you that know me or have followed my videos before know that mascara is absolutely my favorite part. And I am so excited to start it. Okay, I'm going to start out with the transplanting gel. I'm going to do a nice thin coat onto my top lashes. You can do your bottom lashes at this point as well. Um, really work that in, make sure that you get each lash and um, really prep those lashes to hold and adhere to the fibers. It's important also to do one eye at a time. Okay, now I'm going in with the fibers. I brush the wand back and forth to get those fibers loose and ready to apply. Again, as I said, doing one eye at a time. Now my, my transplanting gel is still tacky and ready to adhere to those fibers. Now I'm going in with the other eye. Many of you know, if you've watched my videos before, I've done multiple in-depth tutorials about how to use this mascara well, um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that today, but I will link the videos below so that you can reference them if you haven't, or if you want an update. Okay, so continuing to just go in, now we're going to put the fibers, get them loose, and attach them just to the tips. It's important that if you are new or and unfamiliar with S mascara, do not do from the roots to the tips like I just did. Just focus on the tips. Now I'm going to go in and seal those fibers with a final coat of the transplanting gel. And you can see already they just really start to grow right in front of your lashes. I just love this mascara. I can't get enough of it. You can also do multiple coats, but for today's video, I'm just doing the basics. making sure you get them on nice and even. I also let that sit for 45 seconds. Now I'm going in with our lip liner in the color Pouty, which is one of my absolute favorites because it matches my lips perfectly. It's like a perfect nude. Not too light and not too dark, just a perfect natural nude. So I line the lips and just fill in the lips, making sure that the cupid's bow is fully lined. I'm now I'm going in with our two lucrative lip glosses. This is the color Lux, which is our natural nude, and now I'm going to top that off with our light pink color in Lovable, which is one of my all-time favorites. This just gives a nice creamy nude with a slight touch of pink. Mmm, I love it. Can't get enough of this color, and as you can see, my look is almost complete. Now I'm going to use the navy blue eyeliner color in the color Precarious. It's kind of a purpley violet navy, and I'm just going to line the inner um, tear, tear line of my eye and I'm just that, that this just gives a nice pop of color because it's a blue and you can see it just really highlights my eyes thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to this video thank you